Hello everybody, my name is Pobzer, and welcome back to, uh, whoop, that one. Welcome back to, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Story Deck playthrough, and, uh, we are on the e Awakening of Evil. I haven't touched this game in, like, five days, because this, this pissed me off so much I was just done for, like, a couple days. So, here we are doing this one. So here we go. While everyone waited for the next duel to begin, Yugi returned to his room to rest. He was suddenly surprised by a man in robes who also wore a turban. His name was Shadi, and he explained that he had come to provide Yugi with guidance for the challenge that lie ahead. Hi, buddy. I am the guardian of the, of the seven millennial items. I am here because I sense the disturbance in the force once again. All seven items are on the are on board this vessel, as well as the three Egyptian god cards. I love Obelisk's head. Obelisk's head looks so tiny, which means all the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. Really? The Earth's safety rests with you, Yugi. Heed my words. If the wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the millennial items or one of the Egyptian god cards, the results could be catastrophic. It nearly happened once before when Pegasus created dual monsters. It did, but how? It all began when Maximilian Pegasus first arrived in Egypt. He was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love. His quest brought him to me, and I presented him with the millennial eye, for he was destined to possess it and be a dickhole with it. Soon after, he discovered the origins of an ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pegasus became obsessed with the games and decided to dedicate his life to recreating them. During one of his research trips to the ancient pyramids, Pegasus planned to locate the stones depicting the Egyptian god monsters he'd read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to an underground chamber hidden beneath the desert sands. After traveling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber. As promised, I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for, never knowing what he was about to unleash, a devastating force like no other. Trump, triumphant, Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based on the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but he was not destined to control their magical power. This is a lot of text. Although Maximilian Pegasus completed the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside of the original carvings and spare the world their absolute power. With the help of Is Ishuzu, Pegasus sealed away the cards. Then Merrick tried to steal them. Yes, and if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you Merrick will never hold all three god cards. My pharaoh, it is an honor for me to be in your presence once again. Look at him blushing. He is blushing big time. I know that you will restore order to the world and put an end to the chaos, just like you did 5,000 years ago. My faith lies completely in you. At that moment, the speaker announced all finalists must return to the main concourse, and Shadi vanished. The second duel was between Merrick and Joey. Since Odin was pretending to be Merrick, Odin stood between Joey ready to duel. Or stood before Joey. Let's do this, Merrick. It's time to duel and destroy you. Prepare, to de prepare for defeat. Don't count it at Merrick, I'm not scared of you. Story deck. Almost clicked user deck. Since I've been... tinkering with my user deck. Multiple of them. Ha! Here we go! Hopefully this doesn't take as freaking long as the other one. What do you got? Thousand Dragon and... Ugh. What's the effect? This card can attack your opponent directly if the only face-up monsters they control... Oh, that's not as good. It looks like Link. It looks like Link from Zelda riding a tiny dragon. Um, I keep seeing, like, illegal cards, and I'm like, you can't have that. I'm just so used to, like not using them. Wait. Oh! He's a rocket warrior, by the way. I, just, I wanted to read the card. During your battle phase, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh. That's handy. Also, you take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. That's also handy. 
If this card attacks a monster, after damage calculation, that attack target loot. That's also handy! I'll save that for a rainy day, the sheep. I'll save the sheep for a rainy day. That's a handy ass card. What is this called? Rocket Warrior? Holy crap, dude. Calm, calm down with the spell cards and trap cards. Oh, shoot, it's Jinjo. J Jinjo, yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Jinzo. You could activate one trap card the turn it was set. You can send one Mystical Beast of Circuit in your monster zone, and this card you control to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck, or one fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only use. I'm not entirely understanding, but I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I'm not entirely understanding, though. Uh oh. Boo. Nope. What the heck is this? Special summon this card is an effect monster. This card is also still a trap. When this card is an effect monster... Wait. When this card is an effect monster, if another trap card you control that is a monster would be destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to your graveyard, you can send it in the spell and trap card zone instead. Huh. That's pretty fancy. That's a pretty fancy card. I'll get Jinzo in here. That's fine. What are you? An amateur with a sword. This fairy warrior relies on its mysterious. I'm gonna put you down. And put Jinzo over you next turn. Because, my god. You're not good. <laughs> huh. Another time wizard. Bring in Jinzo. Over you. Chaka. And Jinzo. Trap cards and their effects on the field cannot be active. Negate all trap cards on the field. Fantastic freaking card. Great card. Really great card. Although it's not as strong as I remember. Wait, what, wasn't Jinzo stronger than this? Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, I have... Two baby dragons and two time wizards. No polymerizations. That sucks. Really like a really like a polymerization card. This guy is making me nervous with all of his freaking spell cards slash trap cards. <sighs> Do you see the freaking description? This mighty lizard man can switch. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna. I should have put one in defense mode, because mirror... Oh. No mirror force, eh? None of those can stop me from attacking you? Man, you need to get some better spell cards. That's it! When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster into... Ooh. Just in case something horrible happens. Uh, but that's it, yeah? Yeah, that's it. GG! Sweet! That was easy. That got incredibly lucky, I feel. Odin's deck contained a copy of an Egyptian god card. This angered the gods, so lightning struck Joey and Odin, sending them to the mat. Master Merrick, I am not worthy enough to control this card, just as I was not worthy enough to be a part of your family. Wow! Sick self-burn. Odin! I tried my best to serve you, Master. I tried. Odin dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the evil within Merrick. But with Odin weakened, his control over the evil was losing its strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor to duel you. Same to you. Thanks for the lightning bolt. 
I won't forget this duel for a while. Now that that's done, you gotta come clean. If you're not Merrick, then who are you? I am a servant of the real Master Merrick. Admit your true identity, Merrick. Yes, it's true. I am indeed the real Merrick. You fools! So, Namu lied to us all along? His name's not Namu, it's Merrick. We, we, just, we were just... We went over this, Taya. Namu? He, yeah. He was a disguise to get me closer to Yugi. So, Pharaoh, we finally meet face to face. Now at last I can finish the job my pathetic servants couldn't. Yugi, your puzzle and power will soon be where they belong. I was afraid of this. We're all in great danger. The evil hidden... The great evil hidden within Master Merrick has a dark side. And I'm unable to contain it anymore. It's too late now. Ah! <laughs> I just saw A-A-H-H and that noise just came out of me. Whoa! He looks awesome! Merrick, what's going on? I'm f finally... F wait, hold on. Time out. Time, time out. Hold on. Time, time out. So, if Odin battled as Merrick, in Merrick's name, right? And he lost, doesn't that mean Merrick loses? And if he doesn't, doesn't that mean he forfeits because he cheated? So it doesn't matter? He can't be a part of the duel anymore anyway because he cheated? No? Okay. Which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool Odin. Who are you? I'm the true Merrick. I'm not as kind as the one you've come to know, and soon I'll finish the job he couldn't complete and strip you of your powers. Ha ha. La wait. Laugh, 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 laugh. Ah, Tiki Soul, baby. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will fight this battle as Seto Kaiba. But uh, for now, we're done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay awesome, everybody. And bye-bye now.